Hey everybody, it's Wilma again, Wilma's Alternative Solutions, and I've got a deck review. Actually, it's Charmus' this time, Carrie Paris's Magpie Oracle. Um, it's a 36 charm Lenormand uh, Oracle set, and it comes in this cute little tin that's a magnet bottom. I'll show you the top. I don't have my tripod, so I'm kind of on my own here today. So it comes in the, the tin, and then she also put the charms in a bag, which was a beautiful, beautiful and sweet idea because these charms are heavy and if you're going to travel with them, it's nice to have them in the bag inside the tin so that if something happens, you don't ever have to worry about losing your charms. So let's get into it. These are all the charms in line. Whoops. And I've looked at all of these and not only do I think that they are oops, a really cute set, but they're also, they're very sturdy they're not um, they don't feel chintzy at all they're not going to break when you throw them these are going to last they're all very heavy and um, they're just they're so cute i love them the rider uh, it shows he's in movement some of these i'll tell you if you do scrapbooking or you're into charms and jewelry they can be hard to find so i have to give her credit for being able to put these sets together i also have her other magpie oracle that magpie 2 and just they're so cute so um, we've got the clover and the ship, the house, the tree, the clouds. These are all very clear also. Um, the snake, oops, sorry, I can't point in at the same time. The coffin, the bouquet, and this is going to be the scythe, the axe, and the whip and broom. This is a really hard one to find as a charm. Good luck trying to find, you know, a whip or broom. So the rope wor works very, very well. Uh, owl for the birds, we've got a child. So if I can zoom in, it's really cute. It's a really cute kid. The fox. The fox is very, very heavy and thick. Uh, the bear. The stars. The stork. Very clear um, from the birds. Uh, the dog. Tower. And the garden. The garden is two birds together. And when I first looked at this, I wondered, you know, before I looked at all the charms, is this the birds card or the garden card? And again, good luck trying to find a garden. Um, so I think this is a great representation of garden. Once I realized, because when I saw the owl, I'm like, I know that that's the birds. And then I looked at this and uh, I immediately knew that this was garden. And I will never forget that because it's got this nice little pedestal, which reminds me of the garden. And the stork is very clear here. Mountain, that's another charm that's very hard to find. So it's, I love the fact that she um, used the pyramid. In fact, the, since the mountain is often, and Paris de Bono said this, and I'll never forget it when, when Paris said this, that the, you know, mountains as obstacles and as our issues in our lives are often, you know, just like in psychology, our own placement, like it's our own self-sabotage mountains and our issues are often our own creations. Um, and that's something that Paris pointed out to me. So with that being pointed out, I think using the pyramid with the eye, um, to me brings a little extra dimension to that to remind yourself that, you know, all issues and challenges are there for you to work through. And sometimes we're creating mountains out of molehills and all that stuff. So, okay, back to this, the path or the crossroads card. Very cool. Uh, the mice. It's so cute. It's such a cute mouse. And the heart, the ring. This is such an adorable ring. Oh, it's so precious. Book, letter. Man, woman, sun, lily, moon, key, fish, anchor, and cross. So these are all very clear, and they're very thick and beautiful, and I've already done a reading with them. I use her casting sheets that she has available online, but she mentioned to me yesterday, just throw it across a magazine or a book, and I was like, oh, wow, what a great idea, and that's exactly what I did this morning, and here are my notes from what happened. Um, I took all of the, all the charms that didn't land on words in the books, or words on the page in the book. I just uh, removed them, and the charms that were left, I listed, I, li I went in order, and I looked at the charm and what words it was creating, or what words it was covering, and I used that to create this very long reading which then from these notes I had to transcribe into a real reading. So, and I was honestly blown away how accurate and amazing they were. I've done um, charm and um, 
junk divination for lack of a better word before and I love it which is why I was really excited to get this particular set. I also love um, the Lenormand dice. I think you can combine all of these things together, all tools together and I just love divination tools and ways to get deeper into the psyche. Um, so this is just an amazing set. It was well worth the money. Um, trying to put these charms together by myself I would have spent a lot more money. Trust me, I looked and I tried. But also, her collection and her choice is just absolutely beautiful. I love it, so I highly recommend it. So again, this is Carrie Paris's Magpie Oracle. It's a 36 charm Lenormand set, available on her website, carrieparis.com. And it was out of stock for a very long time, so I highly recommend, if you want this, grab it now before it goes out of stock again. Not joking. Love y'all. Bye.